Welcome to episode number 38 of his Babe Ruth Jr. Road of the Show series. And today, I'm actually playing my Babe Ruth Jr. Road of the Show series here in, or, and today I'm actually playing my Babe Ruth Jr. Road of the Show series here in MLB The Show 20. Yes, MLB The Show 20, because you cannot pour any Road of the Show characters from MLB The Show 20 into any later versions of the game. So unfortunately, I have to continue the series here in MLB The Show 20, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I said unfortunately, but really, I'm perfectly fine with it, uh, because I don't have a problem going back to the old game, and with the show 20, because I, I mean, right now, I'm pl I played, right now, I have five in the PS4. Uh, yes, it's, I still have PS4, I have a PS5, but, I mean, there's no reason for me, I'm a kid to spend a thousand dollars or whatever on a PS5. Um, because I got this PS4, it was like Black Friday in 20, like 16, so that was what, six years ago? Almost six years ago? At this point, I mean, I got it on Black Friday. Was it wasn't actually on Black Friday. Well, I think it was actually on Black Friday. Or it was Black Friday weekend. Like, maybe it was that Saturday or Sunday after Black Friday. But and I got this PS4 for, like, I don't know, $50 off or $100 off or something like that. It was at Best Buy. That was before I started our YouTube channel. Before I started this channel and my Vinny J. Or this is, that was before I started this channel and my Vinny J channel, which is my vlog channel. Check it out if you haven't see, seen that channel yet. We know I'm just trying in the top corner right here. Along with the last episode of the series. It should, it should be on a time that pops up at the beginning of the video, but aside from that, like I said, I got the PS4, it was, I think it was on Black Friday or that Saturday or Sunday after Black Friday ba back in 2016. But for this series, Babe Ruth Jr. number 44, as you can see him sitting on that couch right in the middle of the screen, not the middle of the screen, but on the screen, number, you can see number 44 sitting on the couch in the middle of the clubhouse, you can see the players in the back, some players in the background over there, Babe Ruth Jr. is like the only player that's actually wearing a uniform. All the other ones are in like normal, like street clothes. Well, like that one right there is wearing like nice clothes, but like oh, the two over there are wearing like street clothes. I don't know, it's street clothes, but they're not wearing. It looks like that one's wearing like a bell dress pants, a dress shirt, and then one of the red pants. But and then the two over here has like comfy red pants, and then the one, the one next to it, or the, and then the other player looks like. I mean, let's say he's a little more. I mean, tap, I mean, a little more dressed up. But either way, Bay Ruth Jr. is really not the only player in the clubhouse that's actually in its uniform. Well, there's a uh, player in, uh, in their uniform, like, back there behind the dude in the dress clothes. But either way, I'll look at the standings as it is playoff time, as the title of this video should have obviously gave it away because, that, because the title of the video should be uh, the playoffs are here. So if, it, if that's the case, it clearly gave it away. Well, well, it's going to be in this episode. Um, uh, although I haven't said it, you know, uh, 10 seconds ago or whatever, or 20 seconds ago. Uh, Phillies, despite being the 28th, uh, or despite the Phillies being ranked 28th in the majors, have clinched the NL East. And obviously, it's, this is, I know in real time, it's 15 that made the flash range uh, lead. But in this game, is because it's only the show 20, there's still only 5 teams that made the playoffs from each lead. Uh, three division winners and then two wildcard teams that play in a one game wildcard playoff. So the Phillies won the East, the NL East. The Cubs that won the NL Central, and, and they had the best record in the, in the National League at 95 and 67. And then uh, Giants won the NL West, and then um, 91 and 71 beat the Dodgers by two games. And then the two wildcard teams are the Dodgers and the Braves. Uh, the game will be in LA, so it'll be the Braves and Dodgers. Because the Dodgers are one game better than the Braves. And then over in the AL, the Blue Jays, 109 and 53, best record in the AL and the whole MLB, clinched the AL East by seven games over the Red Sox, who are 102 and 60. Tigers won the AL Central at 82 and 80. Yeah, 82 and 80. Athletics, or the A's, or whatever you want to call them, the Athletics. Uh, athletics A's doesn't really matter, but their real name is Athletics. Obviously, A's is a shortened name for Athletics, obviously, but Athletics uh, won the AL West. Usually it's the Astros, you would think, but in real life, but in the state, the Astros are in last place. So, yeah. Uh, and then, um, yeah, the Athletics beat the Angels by three games in the AL West. And then the two, or, the, and then the, out of the two wildcard teams, the first wildcard team is the Red Sox, who went 102 and 60. Second wildcard team hasn't been decided yet. What I mean by that is the Angels and the uh, Angels, who obviously lost, or three games on the Athletics in the AL West, 
are tied with the Rangers for that last wild card spot. And these two teams, the Angels and the Rangers, are going to game 163. I know in real life no such chance, or, no, or I know in real life they got rid of game 163s and brought it over to the like, tiebreakers like football does. Uh, basketball does like for football like if teams tied they have some tiebreaker like I don't know head to head math head to head record or point differential or something like that. Uh, I know baseball's doing that now in real life starting this season in 2022, but this is still on the show 20 like I said. Um, and like it says in the title, there's still one there's still a game 163s here in this game. So it's the Angels and Rangers playing in a game 163. The winner will uh, go to Boston to play the Red Sox. And the AL Wildcard game, and the loser will, will, or and the loser will obviously see their season uh, end. So yeah, um, yeah. So let's uh, we're about to play the Giants in the NLDS. Uh, so let's uh, I, I assume game 163 between the Angels and the Rangers are this year on October 2nd, which is a Monday. So let's just and I assume game one of our series will be I'm thinking Thursday or Friday, probably. So let's just send it here. Uh, the, uh, bad on page, I guess. I don't know, I just want to do something that's quick, but no, like, mini day. I know I did skip the mini day. I just don't feel like, I just wanted to, I want to see who won the game 163, and, yeah. Okay, here's the notification. Uh, the Phillies, MLB, have finished their season 93 and 69, which is a 574 winning percentage, and have won the division. You, you will be, you will be taken on the Giants. In the division series, which will start on Friday, so it's like, yeah, the AL Walker AL Walker game should be first, but in real life, usually it's the opposite with the NL Walker game first. But here in the game, the AL Walker game is first. As Game One ma pitching matchup is Phil Littlefield for the Phillies and Mass and Bumgarner for the Giants, who's still in the Giants in this game, although in real life it's done that with the V-Bats. And then Game Two will be Edmund Sizemore versus Diego Schultz. And then Game Three, Corey Rody. This is Johnny Cueto. And then Dame 4, if there's one, Norman McGuire versus Mark Liu. And then Dame 5, uh, Ernie Hammond versus Sammy Al Red. So, who made. And uh, looks like the Rangers beat the Angels. As you can see, hopefully the glare is not bad. You can see right there, it says T uh, E X, which means Texas, obviously. So, it looks like the Rangers beat. I see, I. The Dane said. No, I can't see it when. I, but either way, the Rangers beat the Angels in the in Game 163, and now it'll be the Rangers at Red Sox and they'll walk her in. If the Rangers win, it'll be definitely an upset. But, yeah, I mean, Phillies, I mean, despite being ranked 28th in baseball, and I didn't say this earlier, we're dead la we're ranked dead last in pitching. 30th, which is not good. I don't know how we made the playoffs, let alone win the division. I mean, if we made the playoffs with the Wild Card team, I did it. Maybe we were not lucky, but we won the division. So I'll take that. Here we are, game one is actually a day game. It's at one at one oh five PM uh, local time, which is Eastern time, because obviously Philadelphia is on Eastern time. Game two is a night game. Game three is a day game, and the games four and five, if necessary, are both night games. And they're all on MLB Network. Here we are, Littlefield versus Mad Bun or Mad Bun. I might have botched that, but here Littlefield versus Bun Darner, Sarah Pitch Sarah matchup for game one. Not sure how many games we're gonna play in this episode, but Penn is possibly we could get swept. That's only three games, or we could sweep them. I'm not sure, but it's not play by year or play by year of how many games we're going to be playing in this episode. But yeah, let's get into the playoffs right now. Uh, it's Madison Bundar versus Phil Littlefield. I'm bad in third. Usually I'm bad at fourth, right? Usually I'm bad in cleanup. But I'm bad in third here in the playoffs. Uh, 89 overall. I bat left, uh, throw left, and on the other side I have Jim Street. I don't know if that's a real player. I have Jeff. Tanner Nor, Brandon Bell, Rutnell Ador, Robert Hernandez, Buster Posey, Nicholas Castellanos, Brandon Crawford, and then opposite. In this game, the pitchers still do bad. So, yeah, let's end the game right now. I'm actually pretty nervous. I know it's only a video game, but I'm excited and nervous, really, because they were June. It's the first time he's been in the playoffs in his major league career because his last two seasons, uh, 2019 and 2020, he was on the Mariners as a backup. He wasn't even a starter, and then they got traded to the Phillies, and they started him as a st or played him as a starter. Let's watch your prediction. Matt Sturgeon, Game One of the 2021 NLDS. And it's raining too. That's nice. Game One, 2021 NLDS. Dan 
average home runs in RBIs, I was 9422 average, 59 home runs, 183 RBIs. Lefty versus lefty, I just realized that. Bundar is a lefty. There's David Jr. right there. Should be the thumbnail right there. Okay, let's get into the game right now. Little field, 14 and 14 and 33 starts with a 3.47 ERA. Could be better. We're not losing yet. No runs on two outs. Bottom one. You're in game one. Two, a slider, a 14 fastball, a curveball, a two seam fastball, a change up from Bun Gardner. That's the way the high four seamer. Or it was a slider, actually. I don't know. I guess a slider. Foul ball. I was very late. It is raining here in day one. It's a day game, although it's raining. That's a ground ball. Base hit. First career posting the hit for Bayer Jr. And his first career posting that bat. One on, uh, one on two out. Bat 1,000 in the playoffs here is Travis Shaw. Bat 258 in the, play in the regular season with 32 home runs and... 85 RBIs, I believe it said, or 95 RBIs. And then I preload the bat as uh, Bundarner chats on Babers Jr. And I got bad because I do. You can see the red arrow in the top right corner of the screen. Then we got Rally Towns waving here at Citizens Bank Park in Philly. And it's a pop up. And it's sky high. And sort of the camera is cut off, or the TV is cut off, but just in case he dropped it, which you usually don't drop those. I almost have to, I'd have to third by the time the ball is caught. There's, there's the Phillies Wall of Fame. Oh. So I think that wasn't what Heidi Watney, Heidi Watney, Heidi, Heidi, what, what Heidi Watney said in the, at the end of the last clip. I don't think that cut off. He, she basically said it uh, did get cut off, or if you didn't hear it, uh, Heidi Watney said uh, this should be this game should be uninterrupted, like no rain noise. We are down one nothing. I just caught uh, Bundarner's line drive. Uh, I'm up now. It's now three nothing Giants. I just think we could get swept because we have the third. Like I said, we're dead last in pitching and tiny pitching. I mean, if you have all the hidden in the world, we won't really have that either. That's a line drive. I'm two for two. Uh, there's no one on one out now, bottom four. We're down three nothing. I mean, yeah, he's down two hits. Like what Dan Pulisic just said, both the me. Two one pitch out of Shaw. There we go. I mean, there's still, I mean, there's still six more innings. We could come back here, boys. That's a pop up. That sounded like he barreled it. But if he barreled it, it would have not been, hopefully it would have been farther and uh, lower trajectory. But instead he popped it up to the center field or two down. And there's a post in the bracket. Uh, as I said, the Red Sox did that win the AL Wildcard game. The Braves upset the Dodgers in LA. And they'll play the Cubs in the NLDS, but the Cubs took game one of that series. And, and then neither, and then neither, uh, NL, or, and then neither ALDS did start. Um... Yeah, and neither ALDS did start, which doesn't make any sense if this is Friday. But anyway, two-two pitch. And at the ground ball, third base. And he's going to first. Castiano says, in and over. There's the Phillies Wall of Fame at Den. You know, a sits nothing now. Oh, my goodness. One, runner sent it one out. Bonham sits. Still in his mad bun. Mad bum. That's a ground ball. Should have hit that the other way. Run away it over, but we're now six nothing. This is just a disaster. So we're definitely probably not gonna sweep them. We they could sweep us though, which could definitely happen because like I said we're dead last in pitching. Seven or top seven now. Runner sent it two outs, top seven, two two pitch to a door, still six nothing, San Francisco. Not a good start to our hopefully playoff run, but I mean yeah, we can't lose three days, but we only lost one and you never know, he'd come back, but I doubt it. 
You're in the top eight now. Still sits up in Giants. We only have four hits. I have two of them. Giants only have eight hits. But they have six runs. So that means there must be a lot of walks. Make that seven runs. As I'm not sure who that was. That might have been Street. But that's either way. That's gone in like the third row. 370. Uh, seven up and now runner sent in two outs top nine. Uh, I know Damon. I don't know when that. Uh, three seven it was three, three. That was Hernandez who homered. Uh, I was 17 feet off. It was 353. Here's Belt. Runner sent in two outs top nine. We're down by a touchdown and an extra point. Uh, hopefully it's not more and it's not in and over. I should be down up in the ninth inning, but. At this point, I mean, we're not going to lose unless we can get a touchdown, but we're not playing football. Uh, no runners on one out, bottom nine. Mad Bum is still in the day. He's for a complete damn shutout on game one of the NLDS. He's probably going to did it. Unless I can do something. Now it's a line drive, and I'm doing my part. Three for four with a three hits, and it looks like it's only a double. It's a center fielder nonchalantly trying to throw it back in, but they're, now, they're up by a touchdown. It's a double. I'm three for four with what? Two, single and a, two singles and a double, but down by seven. Mad Bum is um, throwing 100 pitches. That's a little pop-up. And it's caught by Eldor in right center field. One down. Two down, excuse me. 103 pitches. Looking for a 104-pitch complete game shutout in game one of the NLDS. And ground ball. Castellanos, and that is the game. We lose game one. Complete game shutout in game one of the NLDS for Mad Bum. Uh, that was a top hitter for Philly. As we had five hits, three of them by me. I mean, I see Mad Bum, nine innings pitched, five hits, 11 strikeouts. Yeah, no wants. So he gave up only five base runners, unless it was an error or something. Yeah. Good job, Mad Bum. Our star went only four innings. I went through three for four with two singles and a double. I mean, yeah, five hits. I had three of them, which is over half. Single, single, four, three, ground now, and then a double. Uh, to the end of the game, too, I unfortunately cannot get in the game, two. I have to go out to the main menu. In the playoffs, you cannot, like, in the regular season, in the, in, during series, is you can go just hit play on stand, and you don't have to go out to the main menu. In the playoffs, you do. So that's why I have to go back to the main menu. Let's get in the game two right away here. NLDS. It's a night game now. Maybe it's not raining anymore. I don't know. I'm a 90 diamond now. I was an 89. Now I'm a 90. Lose game one, seven, nothing. It's Edmund Sizemore versus Diego Schultz. You're in game two. It's time to pitch a matchup. Let's get in the game two of this best of five NLDS. Uh, but first, let's, let's look at the playoff bracket. Uh, so there's nothing different. One up in Giants over the Phillies, one up in Cubs over the Braves. But the Braves did upset the Dodgers in L.A. And then neither, and it's Detroit and Oakland. And then it's Boston and Toronto. And the two ALDSs. Um, yeah. Let's get into game two right now. So, yeah. It's Sizemore versus Schultz. I'm still bad in third round. I think it's exactly the same lineup for both teams. Pretty much. I think it's exactly the same. Might be a, it might be a switch or two for us. But whatever. Let's get into the game right now. It's basically a must win. Because if we're on 2-0 in that... And the, in the best of five series, teams that come back down 2-0 in the series before, and I've done that and wrote of the show with Star Forcer before, but, I mean, basically, it's not really a must, it's not literally a must-win game, but it kind of is. So, let's get into it. Let's watch the prediction, Mavis Sturgeon, game two of the 2021, or, let's watch the prediction, Mavis Sturgeon, game two of the 2021 NLDS. It's not raining anymore.
did it. Five more, 10 and six record and 33 stars, 3.63 ERA. Come on, boys. Our nine did start, already down one nothing in the first inning, base loaded two outs. And uh, it could be early strain to hold for San Francisco, but fortunately we only did it one, one run and the Giants turn the bases loaded, thankfully. So we limit the damage here. Uh, no runs on two outs. Bottom one. One nothing Giants. Another lefty. 14 fastball, a natural curve, a uh, or 14 fastball, a natural curve, a circle change, and a two seam fastball for what? Schultz. That's a line drive, but right to what? No, no, correction. I thought it was a right two at the center fielder, but it one hopped him. I thought that was a right two, but then they were playing deep single, and I want four for five in the series. And the manager says a steal here. He has some speed. I should have that, hopefully. And throw to second by what Posey is not in time. And Rev is retired, but this game is still playing. Still on base and heads to the outfield to tie the game now. One on pitch. Two on pitch, excuse me. No way to. He might just, he might just work, work around Sean, though, no, two and one. On play on fire for game two is Matthew Ross. Two on pitch. Come on, boys. That's a ground ball. Odor. And I was going home just to make it was thrown away, but it wasn't. So, yeah, but I'm still red hot here in the playoffs. And uh, still one nothing. Well, it's a nice batter. Here's Crawford leading, leading it off for the Giants. Top two, one nothing Giants. And uh, my goodness, that light just the light above the TV just went off. I just went up the wrong way. But it's caught by Bieber Jr. Sorry about that. It's not burned out. It just I think went out. And you might say, oh, if it went out, it's burned out. You might say, oh, it's if it, it went out, so that means it's burned out. Correction, it's not burned out. I don't think because I've seen it do this before. It's never done it when I've been filming, though. There's another light in this room that does the same thing. You probably you guys don't know. You, you guys don't notice it probably. It really turns off and then it turns back on. Is that the connection's off or something? I've seen this light above the TV do the same thing. Not as much as the other one, but I have seen uh, the light above the TV do this. It's never done it while filming, so sorry. Hopefully, maybe it'll come on soon. Yes, I mean, hopefully it'll come on soon. And I tried the Bayward Jr. Middle of two, one up in Giants in Dame two. Come on, it's basically we haven't started running yet in this series. Come on, let's jump. Let's do it. Oh, it's four nothing. Yeah, I knew this was gonna probably happen because like I said, we were dead last in pitching, so I just don't. This is not. And our hitting it was also it's pretty bad too. Line drive, fair. I'm like the only good hitter on this team, or at least in this series. And that's a double. I'm what five hits. I'm like five for six in the in the in a game and a half. I mean, I'm the only dead hitter on this team. But also, like I said, we're like dead last in pitching, and then like contact, we're like 20 second power, we're like 20 like eighth or something. And then speed, we're second, but that, I mean, that's we need hitting and pitching. Round ball, a door. I'm not gonna boast uh, uh, burst home because we're only at four nothing, which is only four nothing. Here, can we get our first run of the series, please? Come on, Dozier. And ground ball, and I score. Well, I don't score. I did touch the plate, but my run doesn't count. Still 4 0 after 4. Man, it's not looking good. It's still 4 0, no runs on 1 out. Bottom, or no runs on 1 out. Bottom sits. Still 4 0, that's the high force. Maybe, maybe I can hit a home run. No. Here we down two for two with what? Sitting on a double. That's a ground ball to what? Castellanos. Two down. And it's not looking dead, boys. Four two now. No runs on one out. Bottom eight. So we we still need two more runs. Five more to work with. Not sure who this pitcher is. Kind of I kind of recognize it's wind up. And it's. It's pretty deep, right center, will it get out? That ball is at the wall, and it's caught by the center fielder up against the wall in right center. I just missed that, and that's the game we lose. And we lose the game, 4-2. to two. Giants did have four hits. Instead of three run home by Posey, we got two runs in the seventh, but nothing after that. 
also a top hitter for the Phillies, although I went super four, which is not bad. But like four hits, and you that's a lot of loss. I mean, four runs and four hits, no errors, and then two runs and five hits, no errors. I mean, clean day defensively. But like, I mean, size more than five minutes, three walks, four runs, three hits. I mean, the bullpen only did have one hit. Not so it looks like in five, more they have three hits in five innings. I mean, they lost four innings. Our bullpen only did one run. Derek Law gets a save. While Schultz gets the win. Sizemore gets a loss, and then Derek Law gets a save. Uh, so I, I went two for four. Bayward Jr. went two for four with a double and a single. Damwell had a two-run home run, or only two runs of the game. Posey looks like he had a three-run home run, and then looks like Hernandez had an RBI triple. That's how he scored in the first inning, and then Posey had a three-run home run in the third, and then Damwell had a two-run home run in the seventh, but then we turned it two more runs. Well, let's run to, let's run to the clubhouse. Single, doubles, 5-3 ground down, and then an F8, which is a flat to the center fielder. Let's end the game three. If we lose, the season is over. It's a day game, but it's just a San Francisco. We dropped games one and two here in Philly. And we're one lot, if we lose one of that, one out of that's three games, we're done. So that's the taste. That's up to the series will be if we do lose in the division series will be that's that's up to the series will be open in the 2022 if we do lose here in the division series. Um, so or if we do lose in the division series in this episode, there's a possibility we still could lose in the division series in the next episode. But either way. Um, I'm not t- this episode's not over yet. It's Corey Rohde versus Johnny Cueto in Game 3. Let's get into it. We do get a day off. The day day, 1.05 p.m. Pacific time. It is announced on the West Coast. Let's get into Game 3 right now. Basically the same lineup. There might be like, one or a few differences for the Phillies. But anyway, let's get into the game right now. If we look, win, we force the Game 4. Uh, if we win, we force the Game 4. If the Giants win, they sweep the Phillies and move on to play what? The... Do, uh, or if the Giants win, or if the Phillies win this game, they force the game four. If the Giants win this game, um, they'll play the Cubs or the Braves in the NLCS. Let's watch our prediction. Masters in game three of the 2021 NLDS must win for the Phillies. That's it, must win now. That's not impossible. Come on, boys. Let's do it. Must win now. Giant Toyo on the mound for San Francisco. One on, one out. Top one. Four seam basketball. A cutter. A two seam basketball. And change up in a slider for Toyo. One on, one out. That's a pitch out. One and out. Home play on for game three is Dale Parker. Not a very big strike zone, but I don't really care. Really, Dale. One uh, uh, one zero pitch. That's a ground ball back to Cueto. It could be two, and it is two to pick by Belt. Uh, Mister pitching to do well here. No score. One on one out. Top four now. Here we go. Come on, boys. Oh, I popped it straight up to Odor to the right, of, just to the right of second. 0 for 2 now with a double play and a pop up or a pop out. Two down. There's a playoff bracket. Uh, th- uh, Cubs swept the Braves. 
the Titans and A's are tied at one, and the Red Sox are up 2-0 against the Blue Jays. One went away from sweeping the, or the Red Sox are up 2-0 on the Blue Jays. One went away from sweeping the Blue Jays and playing the A's or the Titans in the ALCS. And then the winner of this series will play the Cubs in the NLCS. And that's a fly ball. Won't be gone, I don't think. It might be. And it's no, it's off the top of the wall, basically. I don't know why that went right by me. I was playing the Tarum, and it's an RBI double. One, or, uh, it's a two-run double, excuse me, and we're down 2 nothing. Now it's probably two feet from going over the wall. Still 2 nothing. That's batter. It's Castellanos. Runner set in two outs. Bottom four after the two-run double by Posey. There's a runners in the corners and that. Uh, line drive. Can I get there? Yes, I can. I saved another run. Two nothing Giants after four, but I don't know why I'm going to get up again. Uh, I'd up again in the sits. No runs on one out. Top sits. Still two nothing Giants. That's the high four seam run. 0 for two. That's a line drive. Will it get down? It will. Or no, it won't. I don't said it will. It was caught by the left fielder. Two down. And now top eight. This is our season right now. Still two nothing Giants. Runner at center, two outs, top eight. I didn't tie it with a home run, and at this point I might have to. That's a line drive. Will it get down? It will. A run will score, hopefully. And it's thrown the center base. It's two to one. We're not dead yet. RBI sent over Babe Ruth Jr. His first RBI of the postseason and the series. And we're not dead yet. It's two to two to one. Here's Shaw. It's one for ten in the series. Here we go. One two pitch. He'll probably strike. That came in the last at bat of the season. And it's line drive caught by the third baseman. I'm gonna turn off the Simmons now because we need it. We need to keep it at two one, and then we got a tie in the ninth. Fly out, ground out, walk, ground out. Down our final three out, strike out, fly out, fly out. Season's over. Yeah, that just happened. We just swept by the Giants. I kind of did expect it because, I mean, like I said, we had, we, had to, we were dead last in pitching. And we lose. I mean, this game was only 2-1. We can't hit either. I mean, 7-0, 4-2, 2-1. I mean, except for the first game, it wasn't a blowout just that we couldn't hit. I mean, we only scored three runs in the series. Three runs in three games isn't going to win you a series. Cueto, player of the game. Congratulations, Cueto. Seven and two-thirds, seven hits, one runner, one earned run. So it looks like he got taken out after my RBI single. Giants move on to play the Cubs in the NLCS. So Cubs, Giants, Cubs and the Giants in the NLCS. And then right now, well, I said the Red Sox, who won the wild card game, are up 2 nothing on the Blue Jays. and then the, Or later said the Red Sox, who won the wild card game, are up 2 nothing on the Blue Jays. And then the Tigers and the A's are tied at one game apiece. But, yeah. I went one for four with that RBS signal in the eighth. We did get seven hits. Giants only got four. We just couldn't score. Well, we did score one run. It was in the eighth. But unfortunately, in the ninth, we went one, two, three. Uh, yeah, Quayle said he did, did get taken out after my my uh, RBI signal. And yeah, I mean, just really, I mean, we lost seven nothing in game one, four two in game two, and then two one in game three. I mean, except for game one. Game one, our pitching just blew it. Game two. I mean, four four runs only give up. I mean, with our offense, yeah, we might not win games. That's the problem. And in this game, I mean, our pitching only gives up four hits and two runs. But unfortunately, our hitting did seven hits, but only it scores one run. Uh, yeah, I mean, the series. I think I, I don't know what my official line was, but I know I won, only one RBI. I mean, did it? Did it, I only had one RBI? I didn't even did a home run. In the series, our, we only had one home run. It was Daniel's two run home run in game two because we got shut out in game one. Dammel, we only scored three runs in the series. A two-run home run by Dan Ben Dammel and then an RBS single by Babe Ruth Jr. Three runs in three games isn't going to win you a series. Giant, I mean, the, in the series, the Giants scored 13 runs. We scored three. So we got outscored 13-3 in the series. And the Giants sweep the Phillies. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know really what's in the future for Babe, Babe Ruth Jr. Because I like this team. I mean, yes, we won the NL East. But the one problem with this team, two problems, really, Hitting and pitching. Really hit, really pit. Well, I mean, really both. Because like I said, 
I mean, there's a reason we're ranked 28th in baseball. Hey, the light's back, but I'm at the end of the episode, so. Told you I wasn't burned out, but like I said, I'm at the end of the episode because we just got swept. I'll do all the off-season stuff off-camera. I'll do spring training. Avery Jr. still has one more year on his contract. This is a three-year contract signed after the 2019 season. Uh, so, this is 2021. So, 2020, 2021, 2022. So, he still has one more year left on his contract, which is three years. $10 million each year, so three years, $30 million, $10 million each year. So he still has one more year on his contract. I'll do the, all the off-season stuff off-camera. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'll do all the off-season stuff off-camera. Uh, I have won a World Series at one of my, oh, I have won a World Series here in Road of the Show, and I won't be the show 20. Or I have won a, a World Series here in, and I won't be the show 20, Road of the Show. It was, it was with Star Forcer. Uh, it was, like, in November of 2020 in real life. So, um, it was, like, a year and a half ago, uh, over a year and a half ago. Uh, but maybe Star Force didn't win another one. I think he's like the one, char one, the only character of mine that probably has a really good chance of winning another one. Because he's the only one. I've only won Ro one Road to the Show and Road to the Show. Or this is a, I've won one World Series in Road to the Show and only the Show 20, only the Show 21, and only the Show 22. And only the Show 22 and only the Show 21. I'm not even in the majors. And only the Show 20. All my characters. All, and here in only the Show 20, all my characters except for Snake Biter. Are in the majors. I don't know how Snake Bite is not in the majors, but he's not. It's just, this name is just dumb. But um, everyone else is in the majors. Um, but I think uh, but I think that Star Forcer um has the best chance to win another World Series because I've only won one World Series in all the other really show characters. Here in this game, and I'm a bit 21, or I've won one World of the or one World Series in my uh, out of all my World of the Show characters, and I'm a bit show 20, I'm a bit show 21, and I'm a bit show 22. Was that one World Series was, was with Star Forcer? And I said in real life it was in November of 2020 when I won it. Um, so I think Star Forcer is probably like the no, my what the only character of mine that probably didn't w win another World Series at least in the foreseeable future. The foreseeable future, I think he's the only one that will win a World Series because favorite Junior. I mean yes, but that when you're dead last in pitching, I kind of expected this. I know here we only get four hits. And two runs, but we lost the game. Really, there's two problems. Number one, the first problem that's probably higher on the list is pitching, and then second on the list, below pitching, is hitting. But, yeah, this wasn't meant to be here. This just wasn't meant to be. As the Phillies get swept by the Giants, the Phillies season is over, and I just said the Giants will play the Cubs in the NLCS. And, yeah, I just said, do all, and I just said I'll do all the off-season stuff off-camera, and the next episode of a series in this game will be opening day 2022. And that's assuming that he's still on the Philly. Because like I just said, he does have one more year one year left on his contract. But, you never know, I might ask for a trip. Because I did ask for a trip from the Mariners because they didn't play me, play me as a starter. And the Phillies did. When it, it, I, or the Mariners traded me to the Phillies because the Mariners didn't play me as a starter. Asked for a trade. Mariners tra traded me to the Phillies. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they don't have to pitch in. And really here, they didn't hit it either. I mean, number one is pi number one is pitching. Number two is hitting. And I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say uh, I'm not saying 100% I'm gonna ask for a trade. And even if I ask for a trade, I might not be traded for a while. I just don't know. Maybe the Phillies might might pick up some good players, like good pitch the pitchers, maybe some good hitters, or both possibly uh, in the off season. Maybe we'll go from like dead last in pitching to maybe at least like 20th or something. But also that's a big jump, 10 places. I don't know. It's really, it really depends. It's the agent, my agent, will probably say, "You like my, your situation with the Phillies?" And usually, I say yes when they ask me about that question. I didn't say that for the Mariners because they weren't playing me as a starter here. Uh, I don't know. It really depends how if they can get some if the Phillies pick up a a, a, a bid player or a star player. I don't know. Well, not a star player, but maybe a good pitcher or two, maybe a good hitter or two. I don't know. But like I said, I do all the off-season stuff off camera. Sorry about bumping the camera or bumping the tripod or bumping the tray table that, that has the tripod on it. And then obviously the camera uh, is on the tripod. But yeah, like I said, I'll do all the and like I said, I'll do all the off-season stuff off camera. And the next episode of a series in this game will be open in the 2022 with well, it could be with the Phillies or it possibly could be with another team if uh, I ask for a trade and get traded. But I'm not telling, I'm not saying 100% I'm gonna ask for a trade. But I might. So obviously, you guys will find out if I'm on the Phillies or another team in the next episode, which will be open in May 2022. And this game, I'm not, but I'm not sure when it's going to go up in real life, though. Hopefully, it'll be sooner than later. But I also have other series that are kind of higher on the priority list now because they were juniors 
eliminated from the playoffs. I have my Madden 22 fran that franchise, Madden 22 face of the franchise, Madden 22 career mode, which I'm trying to finish all three of those series before Madden 23 comes out in like a month. And then NHL 22, I mean, that's some series over there. And then, I mean, really the ones that are number one on the priority list is really, I just said Madden 22 franchise, Madden 22 face of the franchise, Madden 22 career mode, and I have to finish also uh, my MLB The Show 22 posting the Brad did. But this is probably somewhere lower on the list. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not saying it's like dead last on the list, but I'm not saying it's like first. It's probably like middle. Middle of the list I have in my brain. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This probably us getting swept by the Giants, but hope you, hope, hopefully you still enjoyed it. I'm, well, I mean, I'm kind of di disappointed, but I kind of expected this because like I just said we, have di we were dead last in pitching. And in the end, this is just a video game. So, I mean, there's no... There's no it, it, there's no need to like cry about it. I'm not crying about it. Uh, I mean, I just, like I said, I, I kind of expected this because we were dead last in pitching, and in the end, like I said, like, like 10 se 20 seconds ago, it's just a video game. Move on. I mean, I already kind of moved on it already, but like I said, it's just a video game. And yeah, it's pretty much it. And or it's just a video game. And remember, it's just a vi it's a just or and remember, it's just a video game. And there's always next year. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you. In the next one, which it's a mystery of what the next video on this channel will be. You'll find out what, what and when the next video on this channel will be when I post it. And that's pretty much it. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Or did I have to on the board? Or did I have to close on the board? If you have to the like button. Subscribe if, subscribe if you have yet. Tell your mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa, aunts, uncles, pets, and friends about these or pets and friends about these videos. And you know, I'm gonna, and you know, I'm gonna see you in episode number 39 of this Babe Ruth Jr. And it'll be the show 20, Road to the Show series. See you in episode, see you in episode number 39. And eat all that bacon and go Phillies.